Good morning. Welcome to Sunday Health Update with North Shore Gastroenterology. I'm very glad that with us today is Dr. Preeti Jawar, who joined us in February at North Shore. Dr. Jawar, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what brought you to Cleveland? I originally grew up in the Midwest. I'm from Illinois, and I went back to Illinois to practice for six years after I finished my training um, back in 2013. I got married to a Clevelander, so now I have moved to Cleveland and I'm loving it. Colon screening is a hot topic all the time. Who should have it? So colon cancer screening is recommended based on guidelines um, for patients age 50 to age 75. If you are at higher risk, then you might need a colon cancer screening sooner than age 50. Recently there's been some um, discussion in the news because the American Cancer Society changed the guidelines to age 45. However, the U.S. Preventative Task Force still says age 50, so most insurance companies, I think, are still going by age 50 um, for average risk screening. We hear a lot about different modes of testing for colon cancer. One that has been popular lately is Cologuard. What's your impression of Cologuard and who should have it? So Cologuard is a um, stool DNA test. You basically send a stool sample in the mail to the Cologuard company and they run the test on it. Cologuard can be used for a screening test in average risk patients. I stress average risk because a lot of times I'll get patients that have a family history of colon cancer or have had polyps themselves and have a Cologuard test done as their screening test. However, it's not the best test for those patients. It's really just for somebody that has no family history, no blood in their stool, and no personal history of polyps or colon cancer. I always also remind patients that if the Cologuard test is positive, you do need a colonoscopy. So don't think that this is a get out of jail free card where you can't have a colonoscopy or may not need a colonoscopy at all because you will still need a colonoscopy if the test is positive to look for polyps or colon cancer. Thank you very much for this update and thank you for joining us this morning.